Yeet. What's up guys? This week I wanted to talk a little bit about how you can get your music to stand out more through being creative and having a unique inspiration. Keep in mind that I'm not an expert on this subject, but I'm just sharing based on what I've seen and what's worked for me. So just generally being unique is what causes things to stand out. Like take for example, if you were in a crowd of people wearing blue shirts and there was one person wearing a red shirt, that person would instantly catch your attention just because how our brains work. It's the same thing with having unique music. If your music has like a different style or a different set of elements than most other music in your general genre, then you're going to stand out just because, hey, this is different from what everyone else is doing. Take for example the classic Scary Monsters and Ice Sprites by Skrillex. This is the song that got me into electronic music because my friend was like, hey, listen to this. And I was like, wow, this is unlike anything I've ever heard. And this is really weird, but I like it. You can also develop unique music or art through your experiences. Like my mom got me into rap and hip hop. My dad got me to like rock and metal. And then my friend Steven from middle school is one that showed me electronic music. And I was in marching band in high school, so all those different influences show up in my music in different ways and it gives it a unique feel. Use your own individual influences to your advantage because they're unique to you and no one else can replicate the experiences that you've had in your life and the influences that you've had. Alright, the next thing I wanted to talk about was being creative. I find that being creative mainly comes from just experimenting and doing things that shouldn't happen. Technically, the human brain cannot invent something out of thin air. It only synthesizes things based on experiences that it's had in the past. So, if you want to have more creative ideas, you need to have more experiences. So in that same train of thought, no idea is technically completely original. The best example I can give for this out of my experiences with sound design, it's not like one day someone was just like, hmm, I'm gonna take a square wave, low pass filter it, bit crush it, distort it, and put an OTT on it. That's gonna sound good. That would be stupid stupid mode. Of course they were just experimenting and putting different effects on stuff until they came up with something they liked. Again, using the same example of sound design, just try things that shouldn't happen. Just push different VSTs to their limit. For example, like the new micro delay thing in rhythm is becoming a thing because people are just like, hmm, I wonder if I put a really short delay on this bass, what would happen? And then rhythm happened. Another thing with sound design is to keep it simple. I cannot stress this enough. This took me like five years to learn for real. Like I'd always watch these tutorials online, they have a bunch of effects on them and stuff, and I was like, wow, that's how you get things to sound good. But that's not the case at all. For dubstep, you start with something like FM, and then basic filtering, and then distortion, and then you got an interesting sound. More complexity does not equal more interest. More complex sounds usually end up being really dirty and unfocused, so it's better to start simple and then build from there. And lastly, I wanted to talk about inspiration. Inspiration comes from literally all around you. Of course, I experience writer's block just like everyone else, but it's easy to become inspired when you have a fresh set of things to be inspired by. Take, for example, life experiences. That's what most of my tracks are inspired by. I usually write a lot about good experiences, bad experiences, just anything that gives me a strong emotional reaction. So next time you're having trouble creating something, try writing something or making something based on something you've experienced in your life. Try to capture the mood you are feeling in the moment. For me personally, I find that most of my inspiration comes from my relationship with God and the convictions I have for some of the things I do. So a lot of my struggles and things that I've had to battle over my lifetime are what inspires my music. Also, you can easily just make something based on a random concept, like the color purple. What do you feel when you see purple? Make a track. The biggest tip I can give when it comes to things like this is never force yourself to try to write something good. That has trapped me for so long as well. Like if you get rid of the restriction to make something good, you can just kind of create wherever your mind goes and it usually ends up being good anyway, so do that. So everything I just covered could be encompassed by any form of art, such as painting, graphic design, making videos. Try to apply this to whatever you do as a creator. All right, completely unrelated side note. This morning I spent like one to two hours getting my computer set up for streaming, so I can finally do that now. I think the audio is finally working properly. So at some point in the future, you should be able to see some tutorials or streams. All right, that's it for this week. Try to experiment, use your influences, and write some sick tracks. I'll see you next week.